Ladies and gentlemen, I think we could probably have a channel on airport incidents and never run out of stories. Seriously. Here's another one that came out in Yahoo Lifestyle, January 14th, 2019. Police removed woman who ordered fellow passenger in airport line to sit down. And it's this woman here. I don't know if she's a Pakistani or Indian woman. And it was two black people, a man and a woman in line while they were waiting. They were talking, which it happens all the time. I, I see it all the time. I see it in supermarkets. I see it in stores, banks. I see people just chattering and talking while they're waiting for their turn in line. How the hell can that bother you so much? I think I know why it's bothering her. I bet you if these were two white people standing there in front of her having a conversation in line, she wouldn't have said a thing. She would not have said a word. You know, people feel so emboldened to walk up and just disrupt Black people in every, capa uh, every capacity possible these days. And this is all by design, ladies and gentlemen. These people know things are changing. They know it. And their reign on this earth is changing and there's nothing they can do about it. It's going to happen whether they like it or not. All of their attacks raining down on us is counterproductive. It will do no good in the long run. Okay, a professional doula was tormented for 30 minutes by a fellow passenger who uh, commanded that she sit down before police escorted the harasser away. So she eventually, this woman in the picture, eventually got escorted away, okay? You can stand anywhere you want and have a conversation, and especially in a public place like an airport. This should not be a problem to anyone. The fact that it is a problem to this woman is very telling. That's my, man, that's my phone ring. I am not getting the phone. <laughs> I'm not getting it. Okay. So this incident, y'all, happened on October 13th at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. Nakisha Daniel Smith, a YouTube vlogger and a doula was waiting on, uh, you know, to board Southwest Airlines flight to New Jersey to help deliver her best friend's baby. She was chattering with a male traveler about the military. Uh, field, her 17-year-old daughter was interested in entering. Oh boy, I wouldn't advise that. Um, this woman just walked up and said, sit down. Daniel Smith tells Yahoo Lifestyle. I was like, who is she talking to? I'm a 45-year-old woman. No one has told me, um, told me to sit down in decades. The mom of two filmed a woman when she refused to leave them alone. I and the gentleman were the only two Black people in the area precisely. This is what I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen. So I wasn't sure where this would lead, she told Yahoo Lifestyle. There are seats over there. I'm just telling you, there are seats over there. And this woman just keeps repeating this over and over like some, like something is mentally wrong with her. Probably was. Okay. It said the woman says, um, okay, so she kept saying this over and over for 22 minutes in the video. There's seats over there. There's seats over. So what? She was waiting in line and talking to this black man about the military. So what? Why, why is that? First of all, why are you butting in to a conversation that don't concern you? 
You know, y'all have that bad habit. It's very rude. Your mama should have taught you that that's very rude. But apparently, many of you have not been taught that. You've said that 27 times, answered Daniel Smith. I didn't ask you for a seat, ma'am. There are seats over there. You're having a conversation. There are seats over there, said the woman. This is a line. I am in line. So this is what she's repeating over and over. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video because it's absolutely insane, y'all. Okay, it's not available on full screen. There are seats over there. There are seats over there. You said that 27 times. And I've told you every 27 times, I didn't ask you for a seat, ma'am. I'm just telling you there's seats over there. Who asked you for a seat? You don't work here? No, I'm just telling you there's seats over there. You're having a conversation. There and I'm going to have a conversation standing right here. This is a lie. And what? This is a lie. I'm in line. You're not stupid, you look. There are seats over it's there. people having conversations there everywhere. Seats over there. So you see me and him having a conversation. There are seats over there. I don't care, ma'am. I'm just telling you. Now, she's saying this as chattering is going on all around her. I mean, it, it doesn't make sense. So you're bothered by a conversation these two black individuals are having in line, but the whole room, you can hear chattering in the background. So apparently there's conversations going on in the line and people that are sitting and waiting. So what she is saying makes absolutely no sense. And she knows it, it doesn't make sense. But see, ladies and gentlemen, in this climate, they think they can get away with anything they do to black folks. Let me go ahead and resume the video. Well, mind your business. She's in line. She's in line. He's in line. They're having a conversation. They're having a conversation. They're having a conversation. You're not stupid. You look. Find you something to do, ma'am. Max, sit your ass in the seat, ma'am. I'm in line. I'm, I'm in line. Am I talking to you? I'm talking to him. Am I talking to you? I'm in line. Well, stand in line, ma'am. I am in line. Just in case. I put this my bag. This is the line. And am I in your way? Look at the line. Am I in your way? Am I in your way, ma'am? I'm telling you there are seats over there. Am I in your way? I'm telling you there are seats over there. I put my bags down on purpose. I'm telling you there are seats over there. Because I promise you. And I put that on you. I'm Leave me and him alone. We'll sit in the seat, ma'am. There are seats over there. We'll sit in the seat, ma'am. There are seats over there. Sit in the seat, ma'am. There's a seat there. There's a seat there. There's a seat there. There's a seat there. It's amazing. There's a seat there. It's amazing how our conversation out of everybody else that is in the Everybody else you, is in the, here having a conversation. It's only bothering you. There are seats only, over there. It's only bothering there you. There are seats over there. But you don't work here, ma'am. And she said, there's a seat there. There's a seat there. Hold on, hold on. My question to you is, my question to you is, if she sits here, what does the what what change does this happen to the conversation? There's a seat there, 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 well, why aren't you sitting in any of these I seats? I already told you I'm in line. And I told you I'm standing here talking, waiting to get on the same plane you're getting on. So what's your problem? I'm telling you, this is the line. And I'm, and I'm, not, in, I'm not in your way. They're lined up. What does that have to do with you? This is what the fuck does that have to do with you? This is the line. I'm in line. This is the I already line. told you. This is the line. I'm not I'm moving one it. damn step. And I, I bet you can't move these two. And I bet you can't move these two on your pants. Move me. Move me. Point this red thing, Moses. Point. Just, 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 I asked him, he's in the military. He's telling me about the army because my daughter is thinking about going to military. She keeps screaming, we need to sit down. I'm 45. I didn't ask her anything, ma'am. Okay, if they're going to be in line, they're not in line. But I'm not in your way. They're not in your way. And he has a sort of boarding So you can just sit there. They don't have to sit there. She wants to argue with the employee. I'm going to work. 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 I'm going to work
I put my pants down on her. Now, if she want to move these 205 pounds, she can move. But I'm going to stand right here. Thank you. Thank you.
There's a lot of seats available now. Wow. I would say. Why the seats available? The only thing she could be able to do to deal with the mental stress is to handle it while she's Yeah. Why did you see two seats available before? Now there's a mini opportunity. Especially her biggest issue is going to have to deal with it. Because drill sergeants, no matter what, are always right. Um, no matter what's happening, drill sergeants, instructors are always right. Um, you, you have to, you have to expect the change and you have to expect the change. So many seats available. As long as she doesn't have an issue with authority. So many seats available now. She's not. She's not struggling to. Ma'am, can you call security? Because now I'm nervous. I'm fearing for my life. Thank you. The number of seats. Because now I'm fearing for my life. Because now she would have to. Well, she's already physically in shape. It takes away a lot of the stress because now she's not figuring out how to complete the, the physical challenges as well as dealing with the mental challenges. Um, so it becomes, it becomes easier, I would say. I saw quite a few people when I was facing training, obviously having a struggle with both. Um, and it's not, like I said, it, just, it becomes easier if she can already be the physical. The physical she is part. definitely about in shape, and I think she just wanted to go because her friends are going. Right. <laughs> like she's sitting on first class. How are you? So um, I'd be glad when the security comes. Maybe they can do something with her. Yeah, they yeah, I hope they do something with her. If anything else, like I said, um, if she really wants to join the military, if you think she's only doing it, if you think she's only, if you think she's only trying to go for the Marines, she the her, Marines are going to. The recruiter came up to the school and talked to them, and then she goes, I'm going to the Marines. I'm going. You're not going to the Marines. I would tell her. Uh, I would definitely tell her to broaden her choices. Like the military is not bad again, especially if you're single. Um, it, 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 it can it gets you a lot of benefits yeah. um, and whatnot. Um, I would tell her to, especially if she's if she's especially if she's if she's really smart. I would definitely tell her to look into the Air Force. Um, she's gifted, She's very smart. She's not physical fit, but she's decided. She said this is what she wants to do. So I'm just gonna like okay. She's 16 now. So she's in the 12th grade, so she can't go anywhere. So I would say, I would say, um, either I would tell her to broaden her horizons. Um, the Navy and the Air Force would be great. Yeah. Um, their their training isn't as physical. Can she swim? She, yeah, she's been swimming since she was two. Okay, so I have the Navy, sister in the Navy, Navy and my cousin. I would definitely say the Navy should be a, uh, a look at her. Um, obviously, swimming is a requirement. Yeah. I haven't seen their basic training program, but I've seen parts of it from friends that I know that are in the Navy. And apparently, swimming, jump, like going through pools and stuff like that, is a part of it. So if she can already swim, then she's, then she's good. I would, but I would definitely tell her to maybe think about the Air Force, the Air Force and the Navy. That's what I told her, the Air Force and Navy, but her friends want to go to the Marines. So I'm going, you ain't rough enough in the Marines, so you need to, you know. One, one thing you could tell her. Uh, one thing you can, uh, one thing you can do to, uh, uh, one thing you can do is to possibly 
obviously she doesn't have a degree now, but if she goes and talks to the Marines, if she's, if she's highly set on the Marines, I would tell her to look into asking the uh, recruiters and the, how she could become an officer. Yeah. Uh, if it's possible to go to any of the uh, any of the, the officer, officer schools. Um, because that is, if she, especially if she's smart, she'll make a lot more money than this. Um, and then she won't, you know, she won't have to deal with too much of the, she won't have to deal with too much stress from the, the enlisted side of it. There won't be any, there won't be any drill sergeant issues. There won't be any drill sergeant issues. There won't be too many. Things are a lot easier on the officer side. They're a lot easier on the officer side, and she'll make way more money. Yeah. And it presents a lot more opportunities to her when she gets out. Uh, yeah. Because essentially, she being, being the officer is equivalent to being the upper management. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, again, it offers her a lot more opportunities. If she goes to, if she goes to an officer school, it's the same as going to a college. Yeah. Um, now, she will end up, uh, that way, going that route, she will end up having to enlist for more time. Like, mm -hmm. normal enlisted is, like, four years uh -huh. uh, minimum contract. Um, I think officers, especially if they end up going to an officer school, end up, I think it's, there's like a minimum of like six years, eight years maybe. Yeah. Um, but again, she'll make a lot more money, she'll have a lot more opportunities presented to her outside just because she was an officer. Okay. And she will get, she'll get a degree through whatever officer college that she yeah. goes to. Um, as well, so education's already taken care of that. Yeah. She, she said she thinks she's made up her mind. Ain't that crazy? People want to be disruptive. That's... Would you mind if I asked you what happened? Because we have somebody kind of freaking out back there. So we were, um, we were sitting here. Uh, we moved from gate six over okay. to here. Yeah. Are we still Basically, here? I was just flying it? while I was black. We began having a and conversation. And that lady said something. We began having a conversation. Yeah, and, and she, she just told us to move. I was just flying while I was black. While here. That's, and she that's started saying, hard. there's seats over there. There's seats over there. There's seats over there. Being very loud and disruptive because we were not being loud when we were speaking. Gotcha. Just, as, just as loud as I'm speaking to you now is just as loud as we've been speaking okay. this entire time. So she just decided to have an issue today. Gotcha. Okay. I just want the, the young lady that's flying with us. She's is she glad? No, but um, she's just she was just kind of like, what is going on? You know. <laughs> is like talking and nobody's talking to her and she just picked us out out of the group and was like sit here sit here and i'm like i'm 45 you can't tell right. me i want you to sit here I'm like, <laughs> hold on like no, no okay all right well i'm sorry that happened yeah it happens the world is the world it happens <laughs> Well, most people aren't like that, no, so no. that's a good thing, right? <laughs> All right, well, have a good flight. You too. And I'm going to deliver a baby. Can you believe that? I'm definitely, I'm going to deliver a baby, and I'm being wrong. Uh, I, I definitely, uh, I, just a, in just about every case that I've seen yeah. where stuff like this happening, I, I, I feel like there's some, there's some underlying because I, I it's, it's one thing when you have it's one thing if you have an issue with somebody it's a it's a totally another thing when you're gonna take it that way especially especially out in the middle of public and then everybody else is looking at you telling you you're wrong I felt like, you know, she's right. You're going to get in line. You're going to get in line. I dropped all my bags. I guess I could pick them up now. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm very proud of myself too. You, 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 you. I'm going. <laughs> I am going to deliver a baby. I'm going to assist the doula. My friend's having a baby, and I'm like, I cannot beat her ass today. I have to deliver the baby. Not today. All right, y'all, I'm going to end it right there because it's close to the end. But you see that madness of this woman and the nerve and audacity. But these are the things that happen to us out in public. And yes, you know, it gets on our nerve. I'm glad this is on social media. You'll find out who this person is. You know, and, and the same thing will happen just like in the other cases. She'll get fired from her job and, you know, and then she'll go into hiding when none of this was necessary in the first place. All she had to do was stand in that line and mind her business. There is no way you're going to be in a loud ass airport where it's nothing but talking going on all over the place. But this one conversation in line is bothering the hell out of you. It makes no sense. Okay. But unfortunately, it's far too many of people like her out in public ready to come over and disrupt somebody's life, disrupt somebody's space, and so on and so forth, ladies and gentlemen. We see it way too much. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. I'll see you on the next video. It's amazing. The only conversation that bothered her in that line was the one the two Black people were having. No other conversation around her was bothering her. And the woman even pointed at other people ahead of her standing in line having conversation. That didn't bother her either. Just these two Black people and out of the whole line. Just them. Get real. Peace, family.